Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. Today I've got a lot of exciting things lined up and yeah, hopefully we're gonna have fun today. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, let's head inside the house and then I'll kind of walk through all the things that we're gonna do today. And also, I actually played a lot off camera. Uh, obviously since summer's here I've been doing a lot of just playing and grinding and I've kind of made a little list of things I want to do and have done so probably the one that took a couple hours is I worked on the nether added fences expanded the roads and added signs so we're not gonna spend too much time because obviously I don't want you guys just looking at a nether rack road and some fences but I do want to show you what I did as I said we are gonna bring polar bears into our base very very soon so I actually expanded this entire thing into two wide and I added a couple of derpy fences so if you go straight forward it's a sandy place if you go forward and then uh, left you go to the spooky brown mushroom place and if you go this way you go to the spiky wet blue place with giant bears so obviously I'm meaning the desert uh, the mycelium place and um, the ice spike biome <clears throat> so yeah uh, I'll show you here so obviously I expanded this entire road so everything is even and we'll run down to the end real quick just to show you guys and then yeah okay we have came upon this so yeah like I said um, I just kind of expanded the roads I added fences right now I'm still in peaceful mode so there's no mobs which is oh no <laughs> I completely forgot about fences burning okay we'll have to fix that but yeah I added a straight fence to there and a straight fence to here now the only problem is it looks like an inferno because everything's burning down that's not cool all right well let's um put out this fire real quick because this is uh not good and i will replace um the fences obviously i'll get rid of this lava but yeah i do want to bring some of those uh mushrooms from mycelium place so yeah this road will be useful from over there it's not that useful because in the desert there's not much i can bring over but let's go take a look at the um, ice spiked road and then we'll go ahead and start with other things. So yeah, if we head down here, uh, we have like a, I expanded the staircase so it's too wide and then we come down here. And that's just really the exact same thing. I didn't add fences here because obviously the mobs have nowhere to die. I really only added fences to places that they can fall off or get hurt. And I'll show you this. Like right here. I added it. I also added this just as a precaution because I think that one burned down. But yeah, this is all I did to the nether. I went through the entire th through the entire trip, um, added fences, made the road wide so I could ride a horse through here or bring over animals. I did actually some uh, new work down there. I completely changed the route before we had to go upstairs really early and I changed all that. But I'm not going to run all the way down there because I'm lazy. So guys, yeah, I'll meet you guys back at the base and we'll take a look at another sign one quick thing that's actually not on the signs is I added some new chests here so obviously I added this uh, this is just an I actually switched out because the netherrack needs a bigger chest I only had one before so I switched it out with uh, another warp block and then I just added these obviously because we didn't have them yet but let's take a look I made way too many bone blocks. So as you guys know, bone blocks are made, I have showed you guys last episode with a 9x9 of bone meal. And it takes, I think, um, I don't know how many stacks of, I think it takes three stacks of bones to make one stack of bone blocks. And yeah, this is a lot of bone block. We are going to be replacing quartz altogether. I am not going for that quartz hunt. I'm going to be using bone blocks from here on out. But yeah, if you take a look at this, and one of these takes three stacks of bones, I used three double chests filled with bones over like, I think a half an hour period or an hour period. So yeah, that's very exciting. We don't need quartz anymore. Collected lava for our parkour map project. So we have that project on our to-do list. We are not doing that project, guys, today. So not today, but I did go doing a little of pre-planning because the parkour thing is going to need a lot of lava. So I went ahead, got some buckets, got some lava, and that'll be all prepared for the project. And lastly, which is going to be our main fo focus for today, is I started on the firework project. Now, <clears throat> by started, I mean practically finished. But the thing is with fireworks is it can be very complicated for a lot of people and it takes a little bit of learning. So what I decided to do is kind of build it 
and then we'll play around with it and I'll show you guys how it's done. I mean, there's still a couple things uh, we can do, but yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and head over there. Now, I already picked the location. Like I said, I already built it. Um, <clears throat> there's one more thing I need to do, and I'll do that with you guys on camera, but it's right over here. So I know this isn't exactly like a building, but what I really wanted was just like a section for fireworks. So this is going to be the main section for fireworks in this is in this our entire world, in our entire world grammar. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you can see I added all the chests, I added recipes, I added dispensers for us to obviously shoot them, and I'll kind of go through um, everything one by one. So the first thing I did was add the crafting recipe so if I ever forget how to make fireworks it's all it's all here now if you already know how to do fireworks you could probably skip around on the video uh, but I do want to spend a little bit of this episode explaining how fireworks are made so I'll start here so to actually make this ball right here this is the first thing you need a color some gunpowder and an effect so obviously any color will give it the color Gunpowder just makes the firework, and the effect adds certain effects to the firework. So these effects, the diamond gives the firework a trail effect. The gold nugget gives the firework a star effect. I just put two chests for colors. This one's got blue, this one's got a bunch. Uh, the glowstone gives it a twinkle after effect. Uh, the feather gives the firework a burst. And this is, in my opinion, the best one. It gives us a large firework instead of a small one. And then, yeah, paper and fire and uh, gunpowder for the next recipe. But yeah, once you put a color, gunpowder, and an effect, it'll give you this ball. So firework ball, you put it up top, and then you actually have to make the firework. So with the firework, you have one piece of paper, and depending on how, uh, I forgot if it was duration, how big, but depending on something, you put gunpowder so you could have one gunpowder two gunpowder or three gunpowder now i have the mob farm up there that gives me tons and tons and tons of gunpowder so i have no trouble with using three and then that gives you your actual firework so it can be very complicated remembering these two or really knowing the effects or getting the materials together but in the end if you just kind of take a look at it it is very 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 simple Obviously, we have here a crafting table to craft everything, and I already went ahead and brought over all the things that we need. There's only one ingredient that I'm missing, and that is uh, like a player head or a mob head. You can actually use those to make fireworks of a certain shape. So if he's a creeper head, it's uh, a creeper firework. Um, I don't know if it works with human heads or uh, wither skulls, but I do know that works for creeper heads. So yeah, this is all the material I brought over. I don't a lot of these things I don't have much of. I only have one gold nugget. I brought over a little bit of diamond because I'm not going to be using those that much. I brought over a ton of feathers. I don't have much glowstone, so I brought over like only 18. Obviously, I brought over a bunch of gunpowder, a bunch of paper, and I didn't have any uh, charges, so I went ahead and made some. I looked at the recipe and I went ahead and made them. Now, you might be wondering what's what's with all the repeaters and the dispensers. So obviously when you make a firework, you can kind of just release them off on the ground. But it's a lot funner if you kind of put them in something and then they shoot up out of the sky. So I made two kind of ways to launch the fireworks. Um, so we have the first thing, this is right here. So this is kind of the effect. Or, or here, let me rephrase this. This is for shooting fireworks a lot and very fast. This one's for shooting fireworks just kind of as a pattern. So for this one, the fireworks are just going to go one by one and shoot off. So it's just going to go in a circle one by one, not too fast, not too slow. And this one is meant to shoot a whole bunch of them very, 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 very fast. So we got kind of two ways to shoot. If I want to kind of look at them, we could do this one. If I want a giant explosion with a lot of colors... We can use this one right here. So I went ahead and put all the repeaters on uh, just in case I would forget. But um, we do still have to put the redstone on. I still have some of my material that I was using. So let's go ahead and put redstone above each of these. Now, <clears throat> the only problem with kind of this design is each time we put in fireworks, we're going to have to actually remove uh, the redstone. But to be honest, hmm, that doesn't really bother me. Uh, this is not very efficient, but the thing is, I really don't care, to be honest. If I'm going to fill these up with fireworks, I'm going to cut off camera so you guys don't see the entire process anyway. 
so for me it doesn't really bother and this way it looks kind of nicer it's just kind of one little ring around and for this one it's just the same thing but in a circle and then we'll place a torch right here and take it off for these to go around and same with this one so we're gonna actually make some fireworks and then I'll show you guys these how they work okay but before we do that let's add a timer let's set each of these to three ticks just so we can have a little bit of time between each one you know like I said I didn't want them to go too fast so let's add um, I think it's three ticks I think that's how it works unless it might be two ticks I'm pretty sure this is one tick two tick three tick and then the last one's four ticks um, if you guys don't know what ticks are they're like I don't know how to explain they're kind of like a second it's like a tick it's like it's a unit of time uh, but it's very very short so the time it takes to pass through here is one tick and then it's two tick so it'll take three ticks for the actual power to get through here now I probably explained that very weird but it's okay and for this one we're actually gonna leave it at one tick because we want these to go very 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 fast and this middle one will actually get activated by side so this first one will go through this block and activate this one uh, so that one is all fine and dandy so now we have all things set up we do have a redstone torch we only need one let's add two though yeah you guys just saw my little tab thingy but yeah we'll just keep those where do we keep those let's keep these up here so they don't get anywhere close to the redstone we got to make sure they don't get close because it'll activate everything um but yeah let's start making some fireworks so i'm actually going to make the one that's right here first so let's grab some blue we can actually grab a stack of blue we can grab a stack of fire charges and let's grab a stack of gunpowder let's go ahead and make this one and then you can see it actually tells the effects so this is a large ball and it's blue so th those are the effects and what it does now we can grab three stacks of this and one stack of paper and we can make these into fireworks like so and that'll and they actually I think in the new update they changed it before it only give you one now it actually gives you three which is actually perfect for this episode because <laughs> I needed three um, <clears throat> let's see you know what we're gonna use this entire stack on these on actually this right here we're gonna shoot off all of these very fast so let's break them up into like this actually is this gonna be even no it's not well let's do this let's add 16 here 16 here break this up into four add here okay guys so I divided them up 21 for each and we're actually gonna throw just to see kind of how it looks we're gonna throw these three just on the ground so let's throw this one and boom that is a firework let's let's throw these two boom boom yeah I love fireworks honestly not a lot of people use them but I, I love fireworks to death all right so let's add <clears throat> 21 on each and then we'll go ahead and set them off and have ourselves a little firework party now hopefully I didn't screw anything up I probably overlooked something but we will see we will see right now so we're gonna do that one one two three one two three let's go ahead and grab a torch and let's set this off and we can take a look honestly let's stop this honestly I don't know about you guys but that was awesome in my opinion that was great that was a lot of fireworks I didn't expect that to work sort of I don't know why I didn't I guess I'm not feeling confident today but that was awesome I really like that all right <clears throat> let's make a new batch of the same ones and then we'll put them in this one that goes around and see how that looks so I'll do it again on camera let's grab a color some gunpowder and an effect you know what hmm I think we can add more than one effect to be honest let's add you know let's add a star shape actually no we're gonna need a stack of that specific thing um let's add the feather and this I don't know if this is if this is how it works but let's try it out real quick I didn't actually ever test I'm not the I didn't okay so there can only be one all right so can I add it afterwards no I have no idea all right let's grab three gunpowder a stack of paper and let's see if we can add it now but I still don't think you'll be I'll be able to yeah okay so let's just make these let's throw the feathers back in apparently we can only have one effect 
So, but I want the big fireworks, so it's okay. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do real quick is just going to take a little bit. I'm going to fill each of these with a certain amount, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so each of these is filled. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to light it once and see what happens. And if it's too fast, we'll add one more tick to it. But yeah, let's just kind of set it off maybe right here and then do that. Actually, I think this is a perfect speed. Yeah, we can just sit here and kind of watch it for a little bit. Okay, guys, let me see how much is still in here. Ooh, it's not too much. I actually want to try something. Hmm. You know what You know what we're going to do, guys? Let's go grab some Ender Pearls. I actually, when I'm looking at the fireworks, they're really cool. And I want to go inside the fireworks. One more go around. Oh, no, I'm not high enough. All right, at least we get a closer look. Yeah, that closer looks better, I think. There's a one more go around, I think. Some of them had eight, some of them had nine, so we have one more go around. But yeah, that's awesome, guys. That is awesome. We can actually fly down with our elytra wings for fun. Ow. Okay, apparently I forgot to jump. Okay, let's turn this off so it doesn't make any more noise. Well, that was exciting, guys. I love fireworks. Okay, so what we can do, actually, um, we can experiment with a couple more combination of fireworks. Because, of course... Having a bunch of fireworks is awesome. Imagine having a bunch of, like, different fireworks. That'd be even more amazing. So, let's maybe make one more combination, and then we can get on to maybe something else, or I don't know how much uh, time we have on this episode, but, yeah, let's try something different. And we won't have an... You know what? We will have close to an entire stack. Let's add the orange dye. Um, hmm. Let's add the feathers, I think. Let's make it sure so we have 23. Okay, and let's add some gunpowder. Let's see how this works out. So, yep, it'll be a burst orange, which is awesome. Let's take that gunpowder throwback. No, I need my litter wings, not those. Let's get three gunpowder and get a stack of paper and see how this turns out. Oh, accidentally divided those. All right, and let's put these together, and we will have a good little bit. Wait, what? How did we? Oh, some of them. Oh, a couple of them didn't actually receive the. Fa this, these were these ones are just normal fireworks. Do these do anything? These ones just don't do anything actually, because I screwed it up. Yeah, these just just don't do anything. All right, well, let's waste the rest of these. Because these literally do nothing, and they're a complete waste. But it's okay. We still have a bunch of the orange burst rockets. Let's see how one of these looks. Oh, these are kind of small. I can see how... I mean, they're orange, and they're kind of bursty, but... Yeah, we're going to need a lot of these to make it cool. So let's put these... Let's put it in this machine. Because this one shoots them out really fast. And I think that's exactly what we need for this one. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and put the redstone back. And we can get this started. Let's get the redstone in our hands. Bang, bang, bang. Where is the torch? It's right there. And let's set this off and watch the fireworks. <laughs> that was awesome. It's over so quickly, but it's so cool. Yeah, fireworks are definitely up there in my favorite things in minecraft but yeah that is um this is gonna be our little firework station i'll have to bring more materials here because we flew through the firework charges and our colors but yeah this is gonna be our dedicated little section for all things fireworks because when i was looking around for a place to actually build it i saw this little place right here and there's we're not gonna add like a building or anything because this isn't big enough and i thought this would be a perfect place for just a little a little section for fireworks. I think it 
does the job perfectly because we have things we can stand on next time if we ever come back to fireworks we should maybe go up we should make a stack in each of these so they don't run out and then go up there and we can fly down with elytra wings um but yeah so i checked the time of this episode we're a little far into the episode i think that's going to be the last thing we're going to do major today but what i do want to do before we leave is maybe i could end the episode while flying down with elytra wings a bunch of these things our arrow game and we can actually almost get right in there awesome so yeah we built this a while ago you guys remember this tnt shooty up thingy this thing's always fun and then the door should close and boom we fly up and we need to land in that water bang oh oh that was close we almost killed ourselves right there that wouldn't have been we're gonna have to get up there so we're actually gonna have to ride now i don't have any payment i forgot that i actually need five diamonds to ride i can't just ride in it what kind of payment do we have? Hmm. I mean, I need my Elytra wings because, of course, I need those to fly. You know what we're going to do? We're going to give it... Let's give it maybe... We'll keep... We'll give it 11 Ender Pearls. We'll give it a Redstone Torch. Let's give it our Shovel. And let's give it our Axe. That'll be payment for riding the ride. Because I think that the Axe is 3 diamonds and the Shovel is one diamond and then we gave it the ender pearls and our torch so yeah there is the payment let's go ahead grab one and let's get started we actually haven't rode this roller coaster in a while either so this is another good opportunity to ride something we haven't rode in a while and we have the big drop we can actually take over take a look at our world from here but of course we'll fly up oh i didn't press the button no i probably should have pressed the button yeah, we haven't looked at our world in quite a while, so we can go ahead and take a look at that. Our derpy arrow game. We have just a bunch of random crops right there because why not? Our guys, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Probably my favorite part of this entire world so far is the horse track. I mean, not to be like that, but honestly, I think I did a really good job on the horse track. No. Right, you know what? I think we're going to have to stop it. Come back, you. You. Stop. Ah, there you go. Okay. Looks like a bug. Um, what should we aim for? You know what, guys? We're going to aim for the swimming pool. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. I never really went swimming in it. Let's go ahead and aim for the swimming pool, but we will fly all around. It's for fun. So let's go ahead and jump, and then we could glide our way. This is the other end of the roller coaster. We can go over here and <laughs> visit the village. Guys, these Elytra wings are insane. I completely love these wings. Let's go ahead. Try not to hit our head. Make our way through here. Can make our way all the way around the base. And I think we still have the momentum to make it all the way to the swimming pool, to be honest. Yeah, we have plenty of momentum. And then, all right, you know what we might... All right, let's make it into the swimming pool. Three, two, one. Let's make it boom right into the swimming pool. That was awesome, guys. I, I love flying with Elytra. Let's see if we... We damaged them quite a bit, but that's okay. All right, guys. And you know what? I want to do something just right before we leave. You guys know how I actually make payments right here. A lot of you guys might think I maybe just give the payment in the episode and never... And then I just take things back right after the episode. I actually want to prove it to you guys that I really don't. Let's go down here. I think this is where the chest is. So that is the chest for the payment. If we take a look at it... Come on. Look, we have 38 diamonds, we have all this ice, we have two emeralds, we have our two um, things. So actually, this, that's proof to you guys right there. You can go back through every single episode and see all the payments I made to this, but I actually don't take stuff out of it. <laughs> I actually do leave the payment in there. Alright guys, so you know what, let's try flying like this. I haven't flown like this ever. Well, guys, I had a lot of fun today. Hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun with me. So, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.